Welcome to Marker Board Videos. Today's Marker Board video is on using the upside down birthday cake method of finding the greatest common factor. What do we mean when we say greatest common factor? Well, we're actually looking for all, all of the factors that two or three or four numbers have in common, the factors, and then picking the greatest one. It can take a long time to do, but I found a pretty easy way to do it and it's pretty quick. Let's say we're looking for the greatest common factor of 12 and 42. So those are the two numbers I'm working with, 12 and 42. I want to find the greatest common factor. I'm making, actually my students tell me all the time, I'm not making an upside down birthday cake, I'm making half of an upside down birthday cake. So pretend if you will that that's half of the birthday cake. I look at those two numbers and I ask myself, what is a prime number that I can take out of both of those? I always start with two. I go two, three, five, and I work my way up. So I start with two. I see both of those numbers are even, so I know I can take a two out. 12 divided by two is six. 42 divided by two is 21. Now I look at those numbers and I say, is there another prime number that I can take out? Well, because 21 is an odd number, I can't take a two out anymore, so I go up to three in my mind. Can I take a three out of both of them? Absolutely. Six divided by three is two. 21 divided by three is seven. And now I look at that two and seven and I say to myself, is there anything I can take out of both of those? Well, yeah, there's a one, but other than a one, is there anything I can take out of those? No. If that's the case, I take my numbers on the left hand side, I multiply them together, and the greatest common factor of 12 and 42 is six. And now I've done it in about a minute instead of it taking me about 20 minutes to do like it used to. Let's try another one. Let's say I want to find the greatest common factor of 32 and 96. 32 and 96. Again, they're both even, so I'm going to pop that 2 out right away. 32 divided by 2 is 16. 96 divided by 2, let's see, that's 48. And guess what? They're both even again. That's good. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 48 divided by 2 is 24. Ooh, even again. Nice. Take out another one. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 24 divided by 2 is 12. Here we go. We're still even. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Still even. I'm on a roll here. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And I think I have to stop there. Do you see what I mean when I call it the upside down birthday cake? If you put a line here, it kind of looks like I have a birthday cake, a, a tiered cake upside down. So let's take all these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You could write it 2 to the 5th if you know exponents, but if you don't, just call it 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Let's multiply it together. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. So my greatest common factor, sometimes called GCF, is 32. Really easy when you've got your upside down birthday cake to do it. Let's do one more problem. 196 and 260. Big numbers. Am I going to have a big birthday cake? I don't know. We'll find out, but I know they're both even. 2 goes into 196. Let's see. That would be 98 times, and that would be 130, and I'm still looking at two even numbers. That would be 49 times and 65. Hmm. Let's see. Can I take anything else out of them? Can I take a 3? Well, I'm not sure. Let's check the digital root. 4 plus 9, 13. 1 plus 3 is 4, so I can't take a 3 out of that one. How about a 4? Well, that would be 2. I can't take a 5 out. I can't take a 7 out. I can't take an 8 out. I can't take a 9 out. I can't take a 10 or 11. How about a 13? Can't take a 13 out. I think I'm good. So my greatest common factor of these two big huge numbers is simply 4. That's my greatest common factor.